Are you able to get our stuff? Sure. She's okay. got, so okay. got your stuff. Let's go. Can I get her to get my keys? What for you two? What's the warrant for? Hey everybody, Blind Man Audits here. I wanted to show how events have conspired uh, in Sheridan to lead from them. First of all, arresting DMA and Sweet Tea, which was pre-staged, to them canceling the public comment section of the meeting, to them canceling the entire meeting altogether because they are afraid of the pressure that they are under right now. To start out with, we were all lined up at 4.30 p.m. for the meeting to start at 7 p.m. At least six of us and four of us were sitting in chairs when the police came to arrest DMA and Sweet Tea. Okay, you want to tell me what I'm going to arrest you? What's the warrant for, Mitchell? Hold on. Hold on. It takes all your this. Are you going to take your stuff? Yeah, I'm going to take your stuff. Leave your stuff there. Are you okay with this? Just a moment. James. Are you able to get our stuff? Sure. Are you ready to get our stuff? Sure. She's got your stuff. Let's go. Can I get her to get my keys? What? For you two. What's the warrant for? Wait, we're not gonna, they're not gonna tell you what the warrant's for? Well, it's fine, I can I get rid of my keys? Oh, yes. see, I'm Step back. Yes, sir. After that, the Martinez crime family came in around 6.30, and there was a verbal altercation as to who was in line first. To show that, I will be showing video from Cash Valley Transparency. Look at this shit show. It's shit show of Sheridan. What's up, John? Shit show of Sheridan. I'm David. I don't know who you are, man. I'm, 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 a, I'm a rights activist. Oh, okay, gotcha. Nice to meet you, man. Ca My name's Randy, but uh, I go by Cash. Cash, okay. Yeah. I came here for DMA. Yeah, me too. I had the same problem in Broomfield, right? I had the same problem up in Broomfield. They had a sign outside the police station that said no filming. I went to the city council, told them about it, and they took it down. They took the sign down. Why can't they do the same shit here? Because these people are fucking tyrants. This dumbass has always got a smirk on his face. I wanted to get here a little bit earlier. And I guess I, I missed. I came down because she texted me. Back up! 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 Back
Best believe that. I'm from the hood. Yeah. Best believe that. Believe that. Yeah. Woo! For our agenda tonight, I'm going to be changing public comment to 15 minutes. City clerk, do you have any other changes? No changes, Madam Mayor. Thank you. Okay, next so tonight we have staff like reports. Thank you. City Clerk. Um, yes, Madam Mayor. Just want to remind you all to check your mailboxes. And that's all I have this evening. Thank you. City Attorney. Uh, Mayor, I have a procedural question. Are you suspending or seeking to amend the rules? No. Yeah. Oh, you probably have to advise me on that. I I was told I have control of the agenda and I can change the amount of public comment. Well, you have control of the agenda, but if you're changing the rules, that's a different process. Can, can you elaborate? Be a little more direct. Yes. Thank you. Um, so if you amend the rules, it requires a majority vote of all counselors and it shall be submitted in writing at a work session preceding formal action to amend. Amen. You can you can temporarily suspend rules that requires a majority vote of all councils and shall be entered upon the record and has to um, state why the a rule is being suspended. You can amend the agenda, which is the course of what's going on. So that's but, sorry. right because if you're changing the time, then you're either seeking to amend the rules or you would want to suspend public comment. Which thing do you advise I do tonight to accomplish what I'm asking? Okay. You would have to then, you would want to be suspending the public comment would require a vote and so the somebody would have to specify specifically uh, what's being suspended and the purpose as to why it's being suspended. Okay. Um, then I would like to see if, do I need to get a motion in a second then? Yes. Okay. I, if council would be interested in suspending public comment for tonight, I'd like to get a motion in a second. The reason for that is because I don't feel like we've been having productive public comment. It's not a requirement that we have public comment and our citizens can contact us by email or phone. Mayor, by canceling comments in a city council meeting and now canceling the meeting altogether, you have violated the first and 14th amendments of the United States Constitution. Can you live with that? That would be adequate, Mayor. Thank you. Madam Mayor, it's now up on the board for you guys to make a motion and. A motion from Councilmember Dangle, seconded by Councilmember Smith. Anybody have any discussion on that? Yeah, how many Sheridan residents were here to speak this evening? We have a Fourth Amendment not to right not to answer that question, sir. We have a Fourth Amendment right not to answer that question, sir. 
You don't engage the audience. I didn't. Idiot. Yeah, I'm asking the Sheridan residents. I have a Fourth Amendment right not to answer that question, and so does everybody else in this then room. That's right. right. You don't tell us. You're using your position yeah. to decide who gets to speak and who doesn't. You're a oh. fucking moron. How professional is that? Just told me to shut up. Come on, Mayor, run a goddamn meeting already. Okay. Or did anybody else have a comment? Let's have a vote then. I have a motion on the board to amend. Are we council member staying? No, there's a motion. Judge, that'd be a motion to suspend. Is that what you said? Yes. There's a motion to amend for council members. Just as bad. I think she hit the wrong button. Yeah. <laughs> She's shaking her head. She hit the wrong button. They're so scared they're shutting down their public comment. True story. Mm -hmm. Shh. That motion is approved. Six four one against. So, anything else, uh, City Attorney? Nothing else, Mayor. Thank you. City Manager. Thank you, Mayor. A couple of items to bring the council up to speed on. One, uh, we had a briefing during our can do meeting um, on a number of items from the South Suburban Parks and Rec District. And one of the things that was brought to our attention at the South Suburban uh, Parks and Rec District Arts Committee is looking for a representative of uh, Sheridan. And so if we have a council member or staff members that are interested in serving uh, as the representative for Sheridan on the South Suburban Parks and Rec District Arts Committee, and just to give you an idea of what they do, uh, this is an appointed volunteer body that offers opinions to the elected South Suburban Parks and Rec regarding I'm art and public Excuse places. Um, I'm I'm sorry, trying to conduct okay. a meeting, sir. I'm leaving the meeting. Though. Thank you. Your Bye, Jay. See you soon. Devin Granberry is such a sniveling little weasel. Do you remember when he got caught on hot mic? complaining about the meeting that took three and a half hours because concerned citizens from all over the country were communicating in regards to the unlawful arrests of the Sheridan Five. Oh my God. There's a group of, there's a group of people that came in here. No. And we have people can call in on the thing and talk to us too. And they, they kept us here for three hours extra. Uh, they not your comments. Huh? They not your comments. They claim we were Nazis. Oh, we were called every name in the book. I, you know, that means you guys are doing a good job. Oh, man. They, they, I, I was called. Denver? So you just the right people off. You're not doing your job. <laughs> when they come in and they start yelling, I was called a communist. They called a communist. Of course, bootlickers do not like it when we challenge them on what they are doing, especially when it reeks of corruption. Remember, all this stuff in Sheridan started because of speed trap to unlawfully get revenue. Next we have ordinance number two of 2023, an ordinance of the city council of the city of Sheridan, Colorado, amending article nine weapons of chapter 50 of the Sheridan Municipal Code to prohibit, prohibit the possession of firearms on designated city property. I have a motion from Councilmember Smith and a second by Councilmember Whitaker. 
we have anybody in the audience tonight who wants to speak on ordinance number two. I don't see anybody. Anybody on council? Let's have a vote on that. That is proved unanimously. This resolution was passed by the same people that complain about us not using decorum to exercise our rights. I will remind you that an armed society is a polite society. Um, I did want to say, um, and most of them left, but, um, I'm, I'm grateful that people can come up and, and, um, use their rights to say the things that they want to say. Uh, I guess the more for me is the challenge. I just want to challenge the auditors that instead of going in people's faces with cameras and bullying, put yourself in the city council. Go in there and actually do the things that you say you're doing behind the camera. Go in there and make those changes because bullying people and saying cruel things to them doesn't really make the changes. And the people that are here are actually doing it. And we're doing our best to do it. As much as I love that people have their rights and they're doing what they're supposed to do, which we should be. Um, the real change is you putting yourself in those situations to make those changes and not bullying people behind cameras. So that's what I'm Thank you. Nice try, Desiree, but you're missing a couple of key factors there. Number one, we don't put our cameras in people's faces. What happens is people get aggressive because we're filming in public which is constitutionally protected and then they come up to the camera and then they complain about the camera being in their face the second fact that you're missing is that the reason why we choose not to run for elected office necessarily is because we know the system is corrupt and we are trying to change the system and we're using our platform with video in order to do that. So do you really support people who would film in public and exercise their rights? Because you're just saying that as a token right now, just to get along and keep on winning your reelections. Well said. I just want to say thank you to everybody that came tonight and everybody who's been continuing to come. And I want to hear what you have to say. It breaks my heart that we're shutting down the comments tonight because I think it is important. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the adverse reactions to this bullying people with, with rights, you have to accept my rights, whatever I want to do, is that the other people need to be protected against those people who can't control themselves. So municipal government steps in where the Constitution ends. The, I mean, the Constitution has all these powers that we all enjoy, but municipal government helps control those people who can't control themselves. And it just means so much that you keep coming and um, some new faces and it just, uh, and this is our community and it really means a lot to me. Jay, there's a lot that I can say about you and your girlfriend slash fiance, Victoria. Do you want to go see a highlight reel of those? I think we have them. For one more in our schedule, if there's anyone else in the audience here who would like to speak. Please state your name and address for the record. Hi, I'm Victoria Brown, a future Sheridan resident, <laughs> currently in Highlands Ranch. Um, I just want to say, I, you know, like everybody else, why you guys had to endure listening to those people. Oh my God. Um, I, you know, just thank you for your patience, your decorum, your professionality that was completely lacking. You know, I am a free speech absolutist. So, you know, it's hard for me to stand up here and, but there is a limit and it is called 
having decorum. It is calling, you can say what you wanna say, but you can say it in a, in a way that is respectful. These people work very hard for this city. <laughs> the chief, I've met the chief at the car show, at the uh, Park of Palooza, all the stuff that happens in this community is amazing. These people are amazing. They are committed to a community that wants to improve itself. And the, the neighborhood is beautiful. I love it here. I am excited to be a future citizen here, but I just really want to say <sighs> free speech is free speech, but have some respect, have some decorum. These are people who work very hard for a community that is really thriving. It is really, really growing. It is really fantastic. So um, thank you, Chief. Good to see you again. <laughs> thank you guys for all that you do. And that's all I have to say. Thank you. The very next meeting where there was public comment during the counselor's choice part of the meeting Jay said this. Uh, my name is Jay Whitaker, council member, Ward 2. And I've been thinking a lot about the First Amendment and our moral compass. Uh, the, our First Amendment rights are freedom to speech, freedom of religion, freedom of press, freedom of assembly, and freedom to petition. What I keep coming back to, are there any boundaries? What are the boundaries of First Amendment? Later, after the meeting was over, Victoria attacked Sweet Tea for having a camera and filming. So how much of a free speech absolutionist is she? And how much does he support the First Amendment? Hey, what are you doing, lady? Oh, I'm standing in front of your no, camera. No, you're bumping well, into it. You can't I'm do that. Standing. Did I touch it? Yes, you did. Oh, I'm you sorry. just did. I'm trying to walk. Your camera was you in my way. You just stepped on my foot and my camera. Going back to before this very meeting started, Jay let himself get triggered back to cash from the footage. Keep walking, dumbass. Keep walking, dumbass. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth, dumbass. You have a First Amendment right of free speech, dumbass. Fuck off. Go fuck off. Go home and beat your wife. Right? Is that what you do? You go home and beat your wife, kick your dog? I'm sure you do, man. You are just like all these fucking tyrants. You need a person. I can't believe you think you can get away with talking like that. Hey, you how's it going? The, you fucked the mayor. I did. Good job. I did because she deserves it. Because no, she's, she's a tyrant too. Nobody she's deserves it. Walk away, dumbass. Oh, nobody deserves it. Cry for it. Cry for it. Wow. 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 Do you need a tissue? Do you need a tissue? You go home and have your girlfriend change your diaper for you? No. Seems like it. Why would you treat people the way your city council and your police officers treat people? Really? Maybe you should uh, open your eyes. Go get your eyes checked, man. Go get your eyes checked. That's fine. And guess what? I got things changed in somewhere else in this city. Not in this city, but in this area. By the way, I do things. Yeah, I don't care. And I have a fourth foot. Do I not have a Fourth Amendment right? All right. All right. So then allow us to allow us to exercise those rights. I'm happy the mayor showed up today. Imposing those yeah. on other people. Um, All right. Imposing what? You have your rights, every ability. Okay.
that everyone else does, uh -huh. you can choose to force your rights on other people. I'm not forcing my rights. Oh, dude. How am I forcing my rights? You, you don't even know who I am. I, all I know is who you're showing me, and I don't like you. I'm sorry. You don't like me? You don't even know who I am. I'm a human being the way that you have acted towards me. I'm sorry. It's your choice, buddy. My choice to what? To act like us. <laughs> Is it is it illegal to act like an asshole? Yeah, I bet you have. No, I know, but do we not have free speech? Okay, so then what's the problem? So then what's the problem? Is that okay? Why, why is that not okay? It's not okay to call you a name? Because you can't control I have a First Amendment right to say that. Okay, so call me a dumbass back. I don't necessarily need to call you a dumbass. Call me a dumbass back. You're a dumbass. I'm not an elected official. That means you're a dumbass. I'm a smart guy. You're a smart guy. I'm a smart guy. Yeah? I can stop reading Right? Thanks, Mayor. Thanks, Mayor. Thanks, Mayor. You, you're probably a smart guy. Probably I'm, I'm more intelligent by you by far. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Why don't you try to be decent to people? So then why did you do everything that you have done? Everything being, name it. Give me a list. Give me a list, dude. It's all on video, man. I don't need to give you a list. It's all been recorded. I know because you don't have the intelligence. You don't have the intelligence. You don't have the intelligence. You don't have the intelligence to be able to understand what you have done is wrong. You don't have the intelligence. Just go sit down, please. Does anybody have a minute for this guy? Go sit down, please. You know what that can be? Is that okay? That can be considered. What are you coughing on me, bro? I'm not coughing. What's your problem? Why don't you give me some space? I got you. You got plenty of space here, man. I felt your breath against me. I smelled it way before you blew on me, homie. Go sit down. Why are you yelling? Because you just... This is how the city council acts in the nope. city? You're yelling at a citizen? It, because you just blew in my face for... You told me I had bad breath, so I was making sure I didn't have bad breath. You're an idiot. Is that okay? You're an idiot, and I can't wait to find out your name. And I'm going to come back at you. We'll Go ahead. You just Go ahead. All right? Go ahead. You know how to do things the right way? That's why I got kicked out of court. Before. I know, right? <laughs> I do things the right way, but the judge throws me out of court. That was an awesome display, Jay. It was, that was awesome. Hilarious. I can't believe that. The world missed it. That you guys Keep getting mad. <laughs> guys, I had nothing to do with that. Yeah. I have nothing. You, you didn't belong there, you dumbass. You made such a fool of yourself. Thank you so much. You made I such a damn fool of yourself. <laughs> Shit's hilarious. Are you threatening me by saying you're going to find out my name and where I live? No. Is dude, that what that was? If you want to spit on me or do something like that again, Let's then we're going to spit on him. discussion about it. That's all. <laughs> You, you spit on him. Look, look, you missed quite the performance in the court the other day. They're going to make up anything. They're going to try to get a restraining order on you now. That's fine. You know, you're going to find out where I live. I will add something else to what Jay said. The municipal level doesn't fill in where the Constitution leaves off. The Constitution is the highest law in the land. Maybe you should go back to selling oddies like the douchebag that you are, Jay. Thanks, Jay. You go and you do research, you look at these guys, have they really won anything? 
Have they really sued someone and won? No. They make their money off of their podcast and their subscriptions and their YouTube clicks. Right. So they have to get underneath your skin to make their ratings go up. That's what they do. That's how they make money. Don't play into it. Just don't pay them no mind. Don't argue with them. Don't go back and forth with them. It's a waste of time. You know what I mean? I've been doing this if, well, for not politics, but I've been in the federal government for a while. And I deal with First Amendment auditors all the time. They don't play. They just don't play into it. You know what I mean? If you're going to sue someone, you go and sue them. You don't keep showing up to their front yard, you know, <laughs> crying and whining and doing all this. <laughs> you just go sue. You got all the evidence and all the stuff you need. Yep. Go make it happen. You know what I mean? So they just want to come here, like I said, to get the attention, to get people riled up, to go on their podcast, and people will donate them twenty dollars here and fifteen dollars there. That, that's how they make their money. It ain't about them suing someone. They're not getting paid from suing anyone. That's the bottom line. Terrence, do you remember when you talked about whiskey? Okay, all right. Devin, real quick, can I say something? Yes, sir. I love this. <laughs> yeah, I see some familiar faces, some new faces. I mean, if I knew we was going to do it like this, I would have <laughs> some chicken wings, some pizza, <laughs> and whiskey. Could have stopped that Lucy Sky. Right. Uh, <laughs> Kool-Aid for anyone that's under 21. But I mean, I like this. It looks All right, now, there you go. That pizza and whiskey, though, I'm telling you. <laughs> Just saying. Y'all gonna be coming like this. <laughs> Chevy, let me see that. They got pictures of us on there? Yeah. I didn't know about this. I didn't know about this. What picture, what picture they use on? That handsome guy. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Chevy, thank it's you. Not, it's not the one with the whiskey. Beyond all your talk about whiskey, you really missed a point because First Amendment auditors have been known to sue. In fact, Eric Brandt was awarded $65,000 in a settlement as of November of 2022. So you might want to do a little bit more research before you say First Amendment auditors never sue. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 Thank you. Now, next time we're going to have some whip now, Joseph. Anybody else? Okay. Our meeting is adjourned then, 7 29 p.m. Meanwhile, after we left, while all the bootlickers were in their safe space, that's ridiculous. Look how easy it was for me in Broomfield to get stuff changed. I am easy. I thought I was going to be in shock. So guys, they just shut down uh, public comments at the Sheridan City Council. They literally will not have any public comments at the Sheridan City Council tonight, which is absolutely ridiculous. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Have a wonderful yeah. night. Perfect. Yeah, man. Just make sure no tyrants don't arrest me for no reason. Huh? Pizza? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. That wasn't me, man. Oh, well. I literally, I literally just came down because I got a message that shit was going down, and two people got arrested here, so I came down. The same problem in Broomfield. They had, a, they had a sign outside the Broomfield police station that said you cannot record in the police station. I went to the city council meeting. I let the mayor and the city council know. Three days later, that sign was taken down. Like, that's how easy that stuff should be. This city council, they're just bizarro. I've never seen anything like this.
I just go put it right in front of Jay. I just go put the pizza right in front of Jay. I don't want to walk back down there. They're going to have me fucking arrested. Have one of these guys do it. Look at all the bootleggers in this. All the bootleggers in the chat right now. They just shut down public comment, arrested our friends. That's why you guys, this is what you guys are here to do, is be security for this shit. They let them all butt us in line, even though you knew we were here at 4.30. You knew, you knew that. They let them all sign up, and then the mayor tried to cut the public comment to 15 minutes, and then they just got rid of it. And then just voted to end all public comment. I'm going to tell your boss that they did not contract the city of Sheridan anymore. They're going to get you guys. And used you guys to serve warrants. They're going to get you guys some serious trouble. A restraining order you served, my friend? Guess what? The judge dismissed it this past week. And the other thing, the other thing too is that did you go work security? Here's the people, guys. You should understand what you're doing. Sorry, I don't mean to get too close to you. One city council member, another city council member, here's Jay, Jay's a piece of shit, Jay needs to find a new job, Jay needs to go to prison or jail probably. There's the mayor who doesn't have a clue how to run a meeting. Terrence never says a word, keeps his mouth shut, I heard he likes to drink. Sally who reads prayers before every meeting, exercises her first amendment right even though we have separation of church and state. And we have old man Don over here, who uh, literally says nothing either the entire meeting. Yeah, Johnny Bravo, they uh, cut down comments they literally voted for not having any public comments tonight at the Sheridan City Council meeting. Shit's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. It's ridiculous. Are just running ramshot over the Constitution. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Not productive public comment. That's because you're not. Yeah, not productive. So, well, who gets to de determine um, the productive comment? So what's going on with DMA and Sweet Tea? Do okay, we need to, so does someone need to go your, pick them up or on what? On your live stream. Yeah. yeah. Are people watching. The yeah. There's 213 people in here. Right on. So I sent people over. So this this does not surprise me. Um, I've called this from the beginning. I said that as soon as Sheridan saw people showing up to make public comment, they were going to shut it down. And they've done it incrementally. And now tonight, they voted to not have any public comment at this meeting. After the mayor tried to cut the public comment session time by breaking the rules of procedure. So they have, they have rules they have to follow. Um, it's in their charter. And she tried to break those rules. She doesn't even know how to run a meeting. These people are wholly stupid. You saw Jay get confrontational. I don't know if you were going live. No, but I recorded I'm, that. I was live the whole time. Well, from the time you walked in the building. No, but as soon as I went through security, I was live. So all what of that, all, all of that. All that is mm -hmm. okay. So yeah. you you probably all saw Jay confronting him, getting stupid, and then Jay tried to claim that he spit on him. So Jay got his ass handed to him this week on that civil protection order that um, Jay Whitaker's girlfriend tried to get on sweet tea. Yeah, the judge dismissed that. Well, let me requote that. She's keeping it open, but it's not effective because uh, Victoria, his girlfriend, uh, put on such a nice dramatic show of crying and her life's in shambles because people are harassing her. And, uh, she had no proof of anything. Sweet tea had the bomb of an attorney the judge was almost as stupid as Victoria and Jay, who apparently was showing up to be her private counsel. 
You guys missed a hell of a show in a courtroom this week in America in little tiny Littleton, Arapahoe County. It was, uh, it was one for the record books. Anyway, that protection order is null and void for Sweet Tea. Um, we come to the meeting tonight. Uh, we're here at 4.30. We walked in at about, uh, it was about 10 to 5. So we were here to sign up early. We were the first ones here. The clerk recognized us. She greeted us. She brought us a table out, as, in fact, because we had pizza. And she was very uh, hospitable. That was lovely. And then all of a sudden, here came, what, six, eight Sheridan goons claiming they had an arrest warrant for uh, Christopher and uh, <laughs> Sweet Tea. I keep calling her Sweet Pea. We were, we were getting hung up on Sweet Pea. So, yeah, Denver Metro Audits and Sweet Tea have been arrested here in the Sheridan Municipal Center. I have my suspicions of why they were arrested. Um, I'm not going to comment on it. Um, but it's not surprising that uh, Sheridan is drumming up a, another bogus warrant um, for whatever they can. And I think it has something to do with uh, recording the police on duty. I will say that. So um, I've got my phone. I'm waiting for uh, DMA to call me. It's going to be a couple hours, so we will go bail them out. We don't know what the charges were. Old Lieutenant Mitchell wouldn't tell me what the warrant was for, what the charges were for, blah, 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 blah. So um, after they arrested them, all these uh, Martinez thugs showed up and essentially butted their way into the meeting. You saw it on the live stream. Uh, the clerk, security, the cops, they all let it happen. The cops showed up after the fact and they got to sign up and uh, then it just went to shit from there. So I guess the mayor thought she was just gonna let the first 15 minutes of people sign up, the thugs, so they could talk, right? Well, then Bill Hayashi actually did his job tonight and called her out for not uh, following procedure. So they all voted to, after Jay threw a fit and was yelling at you from the dais again, he went ahead and voted no. He was the only no vote to uh, suspend all of public comment tonight after he was up there throwing a fit. Jay's having a nervous breakdown. Jay's losing it, you guys. He's got no control. Uh, that mayor's got no control. This place is imploding. They're pissed. They don't know what to do. They've got all kinds of people and eyes on Sheridan right now, and they're fucking pissed. So that's the scoop. So no sense in staying here. They're just going to try to uh, get confrontational. Uh, we're not here to, to have fights. We're here to exercise our rights, per usual, and they can't deal with it. They can't handle the truth.